The last remaining grant is the implicit grant. If we go to the diagram, um, this grant is uh, applicable uh, when uh, this is a third party application, a uh, client that's uh, not owned by the same organization that owns Drupal, the Drupal installation. And uh, also if, it's, if, this, if this is a user agent based app. So if we scroll down a little bit, uh, we will see that uh, here uh, it talks when to use the implicit grant. Uh, the implicit grant is a little bit special in several senses. Uh, so I'm gonna be reusing the same the same client that I used by the authentication code uh, grant, <clears throat> just for for the sake of the of the example. But we could just create a, a new one. Uh, uh, remember, this is a third party. So um, if we head over the documentation here, uh, you will see that you need to make a get request with query string parameters, uh, which is different because we've been doing post requests uh, all, all over. So we have to have a query parameter with response type token, the client ID, the, your, the redirect URI, uh, which is optional. So we're gonna just leave it the default. Uh, we can just uh, leave the postman uh, one or add or whatever. Uh, the idea is that you have, uh, I'm gonna just change this for the sake of the of clarity. You could have something like full bar bath, something like that. Um, so this is obviously something, uh, a URL inside of your third party application, inside of the third party application that's creating this, uh, this, this client. So uh, then scope is optional and state is also optional, but highly recommended. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, avoid it for for the example, but you should add some, some sort of CSRF token. Um, so let's do that. Uh, let's create a get request against this URL, slash auth, author, oops, authorize. And you can see that I already have this filled in because uh, I made a test prior to doing this. Response type equals token in this case. According to this, it's the response type is token because we're getting a token directly. We're not getting a, a code that then we change by a token. Uh, then the client ID is this. All right. Oops. And client ID equals this. And uh, that's it, because we said that these three we're gonna uh, we're gonna just not add. Uh, and in return, we should be redirected to uh, the to this URL, and there will be a fragment appended to this URL that uh, will be uh, that will be accessed by uh, by the library and filled with uh, with the values that we want. So. I'm gonna just uh, do this, and instead, I'm gonna just copy this URL and, oops, and open an incognito mode, uh, so we see that, uh, in fact, you are invited to log in when you do this, and you put your username and password, John Doe, and password is the password, and yeah, you get uh, asked the same thing as before, as you can see. That's why I was reusing the, the same client, the client entity. Uh, you get permission to create articles, blah, blah, blah. Click grant and you're redirected to this, which obviously doesn't exist. Uh, but you get this fragment populated and this contains your token.